And you know what happened to Saul in the Bible? The same God is the same ability of them that is using over every nations of this generation. It shall be well with us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will see that in the book of Daniel, we're not going to read that, sir. In the book of Daniel chapter 7, you will see there that, you know, there are evils that God spoke about. And then he spoke, he said, my saints shall rule. They are still coming to rule. <laughs> the saints of the Lord will still rule the world. I mentioned last week. God is working towards that. Forget about it. Does there are fake or whatever pastor? It doesn't matter. God wants to bring out His own people of His heart, people that will speak about Him, that people will understand to this generation. That is what it started now. So that we go and speak God to all generations, to churches of the world, to everyone in the mosque. Like I said last week, I said this program is not for Christians alone. And as a matter of fact, if God can say to me that he has chosen some people who are Muslim to be used because they are, you know, they are, they are, their attitude to him is favorable. But the clause that every one of us is still struggling with is coming out here. That God said, let them know me. You cannot work for God if you don't declare him, which through his, his son Jesus. You cannot work for him. Spiritual work is, is, is different to the physical. When it comes to God saying, I want to do something, I'm looking for someone to use. If he has chosen you, it means there's something will require of you to do. It's very simple. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are still talking about government of Nigeria today, what God wants to do in that country that will affect the leadership of all nations. I know nations will be hearing now that, oh, so that election that was, post that was post postponed was known by God, was done by God. Because he ruled the affairs of men, the thought of men. <laughs> he spoke it in, in, in October last year that, oh, he is going to move Nigeria forward in the, in the month of March, not February. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And he spoke September last year that he's going to use Buhari. It's not that he hates anybody, but he's working towards the affairs of Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's see what the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 21 to 24 is saying to us. I, Isaiah no. 1, I, I, Isaiah 21 1. to 24. Yes, sir. How the faithful city... How, has, how the faithful city... Has become a harlot. Has become an harlot. It was full of justice. It was full of justice. Righteousness. 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 But now, but now, murderers. Oh my God! A city of the Lord that was meant to, to, to walk in righteousness of the Lord, they have changed. Suddenly, they become harlot, sinful people. They become killers. Yes, sir. Your silver has become dross. Your silver has become bronze. You Your are deteriorating. Your wine mixed with water. Oh my God! Your wine has mixed with water. Your There's no genuine, no, no, no genuity in you anymore. You are all fake. Nations have become fake unto the Lord. Nations, homes, churches, some of churches have become fake in their, in their, in their, in their, in their, in their practices unto the, unto, unto the will of the Lord. Yes, sir. Your princes are rebellious. Your princes, they are rebellious. And champions of thieves. Those who are supposed to be obedient to the mind of God, they become thieves. Everyone loves bribes. Everyone loves bribes. Oh my God. That is one of the affairs in Nigeria that I know. Bribery and corruption. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my God. And follow after rewards. And they follow after rewards. After man's reward. 
after man's reward. God sees what is happening in Nigeria, in the heart of men. He knows it is no more suitable to his kingdom. If we should be continuing like that, my God, the country will die alive. Amen. Amen. Because it's God of old. Don't forget in the Bible, he told these people, uh, Judah and Israelites then, he said, he will, leave, he will hand them over to their enemy for 70 <laughs> years to be punished. They became slaves. They live in captivity for 70 years. Until he remembered them again and brought them out. The Lord said, the cry of Nigeria had reached me. So he now remember his promise for Nigeria. He said, I want to bring them out of the mere, the, 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 the merry clay they, they, they find themselves. They do not defend yes, the fatherless. They did not defend the fatherless. Nor does the cause of the widow come before them. They don't, they, they, <coughs> call, they, they, they oh, my, oh my God, the cause of the widow does not bother them. Therefore, therefore, the Lord says, the Lord says, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of the Israel, mighty warrior. Yes, sir. Ah, yes. I will rid myself of my adversaries. Oh my God! He said, "I will reign as God against the adversary of my heart, and take vengeance on my enemies." I will take vengeance on all the enemies of my people. I will turn my hand against you. I will turn against my uh, my hands against them. And truly, truly, purge away your dross. I will purge away. I will purge you, and take away all your alloy. God bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. That is what God wants me to tell the world <laughs> to this media. Undiluted word of God. God is reigning. In the kingdom of men. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 What is it that is bothering you as a person? The God that, that reigns in the act of men is there to reign in your matter. Think about it. That God is the one that is reigning in the kingdom of men. If that God is still alive, he will reign over my matter. Amen. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It's because you have not considered to the mind, to the hand of the Lord over that your matter. That is why you, 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 you fall back into troubles. He's reigning. He will help you. Amen. And I declare today that in every area you need God, it will appear to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your businesses, in your leadership, as a king, as a queen, as the prime minister, the president of a nation, call unto him, he's there to answer you. He will reign as king. Amen. He will help you. Amen. That is his message. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, you can open the line for, for us to hear from the people. You can call in. Please don't call through the, the, the mobile number. Just call through the number of the studio. It shall be well with you. We cannot pick our mobile in the studio, but the line of the, of the studio is, is appearing on the screen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Everything that is in the earth belongs to the Lord. He's the one who controls them. He can use wind to blow anybody away. He can use even sun. I remember the story of Jonah. He can use sun to dry up, you know, the blood in the skin of anyone. That is how, how powerful God is. But because he knows that people are fading away from recognizing him in leadership of either homes, leadership of cities, leadership of churches, leadership of nations. He said they want to show, he want to comfort, to let them know that, yes, I am the one in charge of all men. Hallelujah. Amen.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 45. What does he say, sir? Jeremiah 45. Verse. That's what. From verse 1. The word that Jeremiah the prophet spoke to Baruch, Baruch yes. the son of Neriah. Yes. When he had the, when he had written these words in the book, mm -hmm. at the instruction of Jeremiah, yes. in the fourth year of Joachim, yeah. the son of Josiah, mm -hmm. king of Judah, yes. saying, yeah. Thus says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. The God of Israel yes. to you, mm -hmm. Baruch, yeah. you, you said, Woe is me. Now, yeah, for the Lord has added grief to my sorrow. Mm -hmm. I fainted in my sin sinning, mm -hmm. and I found no rest. Yes, thus you say, you shall say to him, mm. thus says the Lord. This is what God is saying. Behold, behold, what I have built. What I have built, I will break down. I, I will break down. And what I have planted, what I have planted, I will pluck up. I will pluck up. That is the that is. That is this whole land. That is the whole land. This whole land. And do you seek great things <laughs> for yourself? Do you? Why are you seeking great things for yourself? Do not seek them. Don't seek for them. For behold. For behold. I will bring adversity on all flesh. I will bring adversity onto all flesh. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. But I will give eh? your life to to you, I will give life to you as a price in all places. As a price in all places. Wherever you go. Wherever you go. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, there are so many people who are in the leadership role. They want to acquire the whole world. That is what God is saying. They want to acquire. They want. They even some can even eat the whole country. Doesn't matter to them. At the expense of others. And God is saying, Why are you doing so? You will soon leave them. Why don't you build a kingdom that everyone will partake in? Either in your home, either in any organization you find yourself. Why don't you consider others? Like yourself, as your friend. That's the message that God is speaking to nations now, the leadership of nations now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for uh, Britain, where we find ourselves here. You know, for, to, for, so, so, for so many of us who come from abroad, there are some things that we, we enjoyed here, we tasted here. That were according to the word of God, according to the Bible, even to the to the letters of their laws in this country. Yes. They are from the word of the Lord. Yes. Why is it that we are we are we cannot we cannot follow the same path to follow the word of the Lord, the mind of the Lord towards men? God is not happy. Hallelujah. Amen. God is not happy. I'm just talking about what God is saying. The Lord will give us you know, permission to speak about what I even see. Sir, as you know, since I came to this country in 1995, I've not been to Nigeria until uh, last year, okay. November. 90 years. When I got to Nigeria, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I believe God will give me you know, time to speak about what I saw in Nigeria. Amen. Amen. And why are we not copying what those good things that we see from outside to make people happy? I will talk about them when God will give me that permission. There are some things that God wants us to be doing that He gave us in this book. That if you can walk according to His mind, things will be right. But when you want to walk according to your mind, you want to build security for yourself, the mind that, that nobody can wash over, your heart, nobody wash over your heart. When, when the time comes to go, nobody can, no security man will keep you waiting. 
Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing you will acquire that will go into the grave with you. So why are we not going to do the will of God here so that I can appreciate